Good morning. This is the Big JB for Morning Thunder. Today is going to be sunny outside. Highs in the 40s. This evening expect freezing fog. Freezing fog. That is that astounds me. It has it sort of conjures up the idea of like a spell from Dungeons and Dragons or something. Right? <laughs> freezing fog. All of a sudden you're in this mist and then you're frozen. Um, so uh, I thought that was really amazing. I was reading that to my to my daughter this morning when we were getting ready to leave to take her to school, and um, I was like, "Freezing fog. That sounds." That's amazing. It's like freezing rain. We had a really amazing winter here one time where it was uh, it was raining and it like froze. I don't know. It was like really really cold on the way down, and then when it touched stuff, it like froze. So there was this really thick layer of ice around tree branches and stuff. And oh, it took me forever to, <laughs> to get out of my car or to get into my car rather. Um, I was pouring you know salt all over the car to try to get it to loosen up and taking a rubber mallet to it. And my boss at the time, she was such a cow about it. She like didn't understand that I, it was my only car and I literally could not get into my car. It was like encased in like an inch and a half of ice. So <laughs> I'm not sure why I started talking about that this morning. Um, Cause it's on my mind and that's what this whole thing is for. I was gonna record more stuff last night. I put up a bunch of samples up on SoundCloud, um, and I was going to record more last night, but I could not talk. I started reading a, a Chronicles of Narnia picture book, which is actually, it's very thorough. It's almost, it's almost the entire novel, uh, but I started reading it to my kids um, because I really want them to see the movie. Now, my oldest two have seen the movie, but my younger two haven't, um, so I, I want them to see the movie, but I thought it would be better to have the story first so they kind of understood what was happening in the movie and I'm reading it last night and I kept stumbling over my words I kept missing stuff when I was talking and then at dinner time I kept doing the same thing I know this is really itchy this morning sorry so <laughs> at dinner I, I can't remember I think I, I don't remember what I stumbled over I stumbled over one more thing and I was like well I guess I'm not recording anymore tonight, or I'm not recording anything tonight, because uh, I, I clearly can't talk. So I um, I did submit some samples to somebody to do some pro bono voice work, and uh, I'm hoping that they take me up on the offer. I need to do some more experimenting with my new fancy mic. Um, the setting, it has three different settings. One is sort of for podcasting and stuff and it's it's pretty sensitive it picks up a lot of stuff and it's kind of omnidirectional so it's not omnidirectional that's not exactly right it's you know lots of microphone terms but it's good for like I think generally voice chatting and, and recording podcasts where you're talking to people it has a second setting which is for um, loud sound sources um, like recording music and that seems more like what I'm after um, for my for my voice recordings um, because I don't want it necessarily to pick up all the background noise and I don't have a studio at home and the place where I record is a lot of 90 degree angles which of course makes the sound bounce around all over the place and I've done some things to try to reduce that um, I built built my own pop filter for it <laughs> which was is pretty ghetto but it's pretty awesome because I think I spent a total of a dollar ninety nine and all the most all the materials I had at home. Uh, coat hangers, zip ties, um, pantyhose, <laughs> and then my wife bought me a um, an embroidery hoop. Um, and then there's instructions online. I, I could build a better one, but um, it's what I needed at the time, and and that's what I built. Uh, I built a little built a little cove for it. It's nice and padded. So hopefully, it would reduce the echoing, but it's still pretty crazy. So I'm gonna try that second setting and see, you know, kind of get up close on the mic and try recording stuff. So. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm hoping that more stuff comes up. I need to, um, I don't know how to drum up more interest in what I'm doing. Hopefully, by doing some pro bono stuff to start off with, um, I'll get more offers um, to, do, to do some paid stuff. So, well, that's going to be it for me this morning. I am on my way into the office. It promises to be another busy day for me. So, I'm going to go inside and take care of the stuff that I need to take care of. 
and uh, I'll be recording more tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for subscribing. This has been the Big JB. You can find me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB, and I'll catch everybody tomorrow. See ya. Yeah.